Testing, testing, hot out, brown car. One, two, three, four. You want to hear? Are you ready? Make the approach. Plant your feet firmly in the ground. Head down. Eyes on the ball. Relax. That's it. Get your left arm straight. Your right arm straight. Relax. Lower your right shoulder. Go! The Honeymooners Podcast. The only podcast that is all about the greatest show of all time. With the stars, Joe Conti and Louis Fats. Welcome, fellow raccoons and members of the Women's Auxiliary. What's happening, all you hurricanes, Benson Hurst bombers, and all you Tonys, George, Bills, Franks, and Pete's, and Alice's of the world? <laughs> You're listening to the Honeymooners <laughs> Podcast with me, Joe Conti, and my pal, Louis Fats. Yeah, well, it's a good thing for you that I'm in a big hurry. Otherwise, I'd make you go to the police station. Drivers like you are a menace to the community. <laughs> the only discussion-based podcast all about the greatest show of all time. We record in the non-productive studios at 328 Chauncey Street in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcast, And if you're on iTunes, give us a five-star rating and leave a positive review. Because we will read them on the air. And if you're not doing the podcast thing and you just want to listen to us when you like, our home base to go is non-productive.com slash honeymooners. You get all the episodes right there. Don't forget to like our Honeymooners podcast Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And if you want to leave a voicemail that we will play, you can call 240-442-2635, or if you want to do it the old way, and email us at bangzoom1956 at gmail. What's going on, Lou? Joe, number 69. That's right. We don't have a player, but we have a whole team. We got a whole team? 69 Mets. There you go, yeah. Uh, Tom Seaver, Jerry Kuzman, Cleon Jones, Tommy Agee, Ron Swoboda, who made the greatest catch of all time. You, you Ever. It will never be top, so don't anybody write me telling me that <laughs> Joe Schlobotnik made a great catch because I disagree with you, okay? <laughs> so. <laughs> Even when you watch it in slow motion, because oh. I know what play you're talking about, yeah. you can't dispute it. it, 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 it you, you, there's no definitive saying he caught it, and there's nothing saying that he didn't catch it. And it's just his his face is like in the ground when it, it, it's amazing. His face you is think like, he knows? Yeah. Oh, he knows. He knows. I don't know if his corner oh, telling him he's, <laughs> he's the Ouija board, but he knows. <laughs> yeah, don't forget yeah. Nolan Ryan, yeah. too. Oh, well, I just had something here about Nolan Ryan. That was the first year, it was 1960, the first year of divisional playoffs. It was the Mets, Braves, Twins, Orioles in American League. And game three of the the clincher for the Mets against the Braves, Nolan Ryan came in and pitched seven innings of relief to win the game. He was unbelievable. And then they got rid of him. Yeah, yeah. I guess he wasn't good enough. <laughs> I just I just on the way in, I was it was the top uh, fifteen worst major league uh, trades in history, well, yeah. and that was uh, he was all, that was all fifteen. <laughs> yeah. It was up there. Trust oh, me, it's gotta be. Oh my goodness, <laughs> but. All right. Oh, well, no, 69 Mets. 69 Can't go Mets. Wrong. Can't go wrong there. I like the Mets, too. We're, they're they're my Jordan Mets Met fans, so it's our <laughs> show, so that's what we're in. <laughs> <laughs> 69 Mets. I know. We, uh, we don't believe uh, There's not enough Chicago Bears <laughs> stuff. I know. Yeah, I know. We, know, we, we know, apologize. We know. But, um, well, before we get started, obviously, we want to uh, mention our great uh, sponsor, Silk City Hot Sauce, the great Kingfish Levinsky, yeah. Jeff Kingfish Levinsky. Get yourself some great homemade hot sauce. Can't hurt your pal. I can't hurt your pal. It's homemade. Homemade. Go to SilkCityHotSauce.com, right? And get yourself some great hot sauce. I like the uh, Taco Fiesta. Louis likes a no, slew of them, no, no, like Badass, Badass Jew, Jew, Aztec Attack, Billy Biggs, Boggs, what is that, y'all? Billy B- Biggs? Biggs, I think it is. Something Billy like Biggs. Yeah. Whatever it is, I like it. Right, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's got to make, he has to make a hot sauce after your name. Has to. Oh, yeah, why not? You know, like fire, the Louis Fiery fire fats. fats or something <laughs> like that. Louis Fats Fiery <laughs> Sauce or something. It's got to. Kingfish, if you're listening. <laughs> um, <laughs> but go to there, get yourself some great hot sauce, and then when you go to purchase it in the coupon code, where we at the checkout, you put RX 
because that means that you got it because of us, us yeah. and it helps us out, and it shows that you, uh, you know, that we got the yeah. honeymooners people Honeymoon, doing yeah. it. Yeah, people watch, you know. And you product. not only get 15 percent off, you get a free bottle of cherry, cherry sriracha. sriracha. So you can't go wrong, people. All right. I'm glad um, you like my product. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like my product. I love you. <laughs> I'm glad you like my product, product. Mr. Crumpton. <laughs> of course, he never said his name, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Uh, we, have a, we have a great one for you today. Oh, yeah. Lots loaded. of stuff here. Lo- Lots of loaded stuff. Joe's going to be busy on the board today. Yeah, yeah, I'll be busy on the board today. Thank God sure. I'm not on it. This yeah, this, show, the show yeah. would not go on. <laughs> we would not go on tonight. <laughs> I will not go on tonight. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First thing we want to do is I uh, wanted to mention to Lou. Lou. Lou does not know what this is. No. Um, uh, a lot of people in the Facebook group, especially in the New York area, always talk about how WPIX, PIX yep. Channel 11, uh, has been playing the Honeymooners for as long Forever. as we can remember. Yeah. And they, and what they do is they go through cycles where that'll it, it, they'll turn they'll stop them for a while mm-hmm. and then they'll put it'll be like Seinfeld right. and then the cycles come back mm-hmm. and they took them off recently a couple of months ago and everybody was going crazy because they thought it was for political correctness yeah. and all that mm-hmm. it wasn't there's a cycle that goes mm-hmm. through but I noticed the last and we did a few of these so if mm-hmm. you're a regular listener you know what's coming uh, I. DVR all of them. So I just go up and then I just watch one and I just hit it. I don't even know which one it is. And mm-hmm. it's like a little, it's a, oh, what a surprise. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now they're back on. Okay. okay. And we made a couple of references to how the people that are writing the descriptions for each episode. Oh, God. It's just bizarre. Yeah, yeah. That's brutal. Bizarre. Yeah. Right? Well, this one, uh, they, they started again. And now they're doing the descriptions again. And usually the way it works, <clears throat> it's the Honeymooners, the episode name, a quick description, and then a big description. Right? right? Well, they a little, they, they topped it. Yeah. <laughs> they topped it. I thought when last time when they did it, you know, with, with, the, with the description of the episode, and it was so bizarre. Yeah, I even asked you, like, I mean, what episode is it? I couldn't guess. You couldn't even guess couldn't it. Couldn't even guess. You gave me four guesses, and I... Well, they they, they right, took we... a different route this okay, time, okay? First of all, it says The Honeymooners, but it doesn't say what episode. Right. Okay. And it just says, bus driver Ralph Cramden schemes to improve his lot in life. So I guess that's more of a generalization. Yeah, generalization of what he what the series is about. What the series Basically, is about. Basically, yeah. So now they now you get the the um, in depth, right? Like the synopsis. The synopsis of, of, of the episode. quote the episode. Okay. Ralph Cramden, a perpetually flustered but eternally optimistic city bus driver living in a small Brooklyn apartment with his wife, Alice, schemes with his best friend, sanitation worker, Ed Norton, to improve his lot in life. That's what it says for everyone. I mean, his lot in life. Like, what are they doing? Why can't they just say... Dial J for janitor. Ralph, Ralph wants to become janitor, janitor because he wants to make extra money. money that's all. That's all. That's all. That's basically, that's what it is. That's, that's basically what it is. Yeah. He's scheming with his best friend, friend, sanitation friend. worker, Ed Norton, to, to improve ha- his lot in to, life. To sell the happy, handy <laughs> housewife helpers. Yeah. This is the. This, they didn't even decide to do like a description of each episode. No, this is what every one of them said. So we had two, now. basically, two generic descriptions. Yeah. For the same for the episode. Same, for every episode. It's yeah. going to be like it from here on. Yeah. Yeah, from here on, yeah, okay. exactly. Oh, okay. And look, we understand none of this matters. No, we that don't matter. But well, we just wanted to uh, have. We, we need content, people. Yeah. All right, we're, we're doing a podcast yeah, about a show at sixty-five years old. Oh, that there's 35, 39 episodes. <laughs> but I just thought it was quite amusing how that's where they went. They decided to just make a. Gi- they were like, you know what? We're doing. Oh, this honey. You know, like we yeah. said, they're probably millennials. They're yeah. like, oh, it's that. It's that black and white TV show, show again. Yeah. Um, the guy somebody, always yelling at his me? wife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they probably said, you know what? Why don't we just write one and we'll just leave it for we'll all, of them. all of them. All of them. So the nuts who are watching it know <laughs> don't really care about the description. You're gonna watch it anyway. If they have any idea, they know yeah. that people that are watching this show. Are like us yeah. and know every episode. Every episode. So, so, it so it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, um, what we want to do is we really enjoyed the bit that we started doing last week, the uh, the one and done. 
So we wanted to yeah. do it again, and uh, here we go. The Honeymooners Podcast presents the one and done Player of the Week. All right. Our one and done Player of the Week this week is Ken Lynch. Yes. And I I knew it. I'm like, the ne- the second one I want to do with the intro had to be Ken Lynch. Ken Lynch yeah. Because I just thought of how much Louie oh, loves Ken Lynch. Ken Lynch the best. Uh, Ken Lynch, obviously, if you're not sure which one Ken Lynch is, here we go. Here we go. Cramden, I don't know anything. <laughs> Police department, Mr. I don't know nothing. Now look, you're I don't in know nothing. Spot, that... You know that? I'm going to tell you just what I told your pal down at the pool room. Your safety and your life is in danger if you don't give us a description. I didn't see anything. These anything. fellas are killers. They shot the night watchman. <laughs> I don't know anything. Huh? You don't know anything, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you a break. I'm leaving a policeman downstairs to look after you overnight. But if you don't tell us what you know by morning, you're on your own. If you're not a witness, you're not entitled to police protection. And thanks for nothing. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> He's just- Oh, what a what a, what a great character! It really oh, is. Oh man! And you know what? I never realized how good he was until you really pointed it out. Yeah. And Ken Lynch. Uh, great character actor. Yeah. Uh, born 1910, July 15th, 1910, in Cleveland. Died in 1990. Um, <laughs> Lou went on IMDb, DB. and he was like, and I was like, Lou, uh, give, uh, what, do you, what do you think of synopsis? And he just looks at me and goes, did you write this? this uh, I'm like, what? unbelievable what it says on here. <laughs> and it's, it, it, I'll just read a little read bit. Read a little bit of it. Yeah, it yeah, says, yeah. if ever there was an actor born to play a tough Irish cop, it was Ken Lynch. And he played so many of them in his long career that he could probably do it in his sleep. Now, further on down in the description, it says that he appeared in quite a few movies over his career, but he also did an enormous amount of television work, and that's where most probably remembered seeing him. As he turned up on pretty much every cop show, detective show, wait a minute, my thing just went out here, <laughs> private eye series, cartoon frolics, space shows, and puppet shows. No, I just say it. I just say it. Said <laughs> and private eye series ever made. He, and it says in parentheses, he even showed up in an episode of the Jackie Gleason comedy series, The Honeymooners, 1955, as a tough Irish detective. Tough Irish detective. So that was Ken Lynch. He's, if you look at his IMDb, he's in 195 different things. Wow. 195. From, uh, it looks like his last one was in 1983, and... I'm just, I mean, I'm just, oh, 1947, started off with something called the uh, Gentleman's Agreement, and then he was even in, remember that show, Vegas? Oh, yeah. He was in Vegas. Yeah. Dantana? Uh, Dantana, was that? The da- yeah, Dantana. He played a guy named Frenchie. Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, oh, oh, what the, one day, and I, I, even though I'm retired, I rarely watch television during the day. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to get into that happen. But one day I put the TV on, and what's on? Adam 12. Okay. Who's the crook in the Adam 12? Ken Lynch. Is he really? Remember, I t- took the picture off the TV and sent it to you. Oh, yes. Remember? That's right. I said, guess who this is? That's right. <laughs> I know. Never- <laughs> this is like out of the blue. I yeah. Put Adam 12. Who the watches Adam 12? Yeah. And I put it on, and there he is, Ken Lynch. Yeah. And it, he's so playing he's a crook. Either, yeah. He's so he's either going to play a bad guy or, or a, a good co- guy yeah. or a cop. Yeah. He's, he's not going to play, uh, you know, some Latin lover. No, no. <laughs> he's not going to be Carlos Sanchez. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, really. Although you could probably like, dance better. Yeah, than like, you know, really. You know. yeah. I do a South American specialty, the mamba. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mrs. Manicotti, thanks, thanks for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we just. <laughs> <laughs> the great Ken Lynch. Yes. Who was in the great episode, Trapped, oh, obviously. Trapped. And, we'll and have to pl- cover it one of these days. <laughs> oh my god so that is our um one and done player player i love that we love player, player of the, the week they are players they yes, are players they are the so, gleason players they yes were. the grease yeah that's true um so 
we're going to get into the next thing, which is, uh, I knew this is going to be a problem. I can't oh, right. <laughs> finding these things. Um, <laughs> it's a lot on that board. Yeah, in the future. Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. What do, oh, this is, uh, did, no, didn't hit. Uh, oh, my goodness. I can't, I can't find it. I cannot for oh. the life of me. Oh, you got to find it. I have to. The, no, no, we're not. Show we're, production we're, schedule. One and done. No, not one and done. Uh, no. There it is. All right. I oh, okay, it. here we Thank go. goodness. Whew. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> here it is about five times. The tonight. Honeymooners <laughs> Podcast presents <laughs> Whatever Happened To... The boys go deep into their shallow minds and try to imagine what would have happened to certain situations in the show if the episode had a to be continued or a part two. Yeah, I know. Joe and Louie need real jobs. And now here's whatever happened to. Hey, that's my good pal Joe Fernandez. Oh, and a great Joe Fernandez. And if you uh, want Joe Fernandez, is a great friend of mine in a comic. If you want to look him up, Check out his stuff. It's Joe Fernandez with an with S. an S at the end. Portu- Not a Z. Portuguese. Portuguese, exactly. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna get into whatever happened to. Yeah. And this we haven't is, done this in a long time. We haven't time, done Joe. this in a while. A yes. Time. When you said that today, I'm like, this is great because yeah. we have not done this in a while. And it's from the episode uh, "Better Living Through to television. television," and it's the scene where Ralph is trying to convince Ed. Two hundred dollars. Trying to get him with the handy housewife yeah, thing. Helper, yeah. And uh, here is the uh, part. We can't lose. Mm. Can't lose, huh? Can't lose, huh? That's yeah. what you said when we bought that parking lot next to the space where they're building up the movie house. There, you said people that go to the movies gotta have a place to park their car. <laughs> How did I know they were building a drive-in theater? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, <laughs> uh, I love this. Whatever happens, all right, to this is like, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, now they first of all they buy this lot, supposedly right. a parking lot, correct, in Brooklyn, which today is probably worth like three million dollars. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, how don't you know the difference between where they're building a drive-in <laughs> and a <Yeah>. movie house? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, a movie house a, is just a little <laughs> building, especially back then. It was just a, you're just a building on the block where a drive-in theater is acres. And it's got to be out somewhere. You're not going to put it driving in the middle of a city street. It's not going to be like on right, on Kosciuszko right. Street, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be out somewhere in the you know. Right, Brooklyn it's not going to be maybe right, right next all to Hong Kong Gardens. Yeah, it'd be all the way out in Kanazi. <laughs> right now, <probably. laughs> but the whatever happened to is your great observation of the whatever happened to yeah, it's the parking lot. What happened to it? <laughs> Do they still own it? Did they sell it? I- are they still paying taxes on it? <laughs> <laughs> they could have went into the parking lot business. I mean, I don't know. They <laughs> could have went to the parking lot <laughs> business. I don't know. <laughs> Oh my God! And it's God. great. <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, you know, can you imagine what they would have had? Yeah. And where did he get the money to buy a, That's parking, a parking lot? lot. This is—you're buying real estate. This yeah. isn't buying like the happy hit, the handy housewife helper, right? You know, right. A couple hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. You're buying real estate. Yeah. You, you're renting a, a, a this this piece of crap apartment. Yeah. But you bought you just bought a lot <laughs> in Brooklyn. <laughs> We're assuming it's in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. yeah would, they they never say, but we'll right. yeah, you have know. to assume it was yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn. Or, you know, which, of Marine. course, is the setup to the great show. Yeah. You know, yeah. which is a fun. I was a drive-in theater. Yeah, I know. It was a drive-in the theater. 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 You know, <laughs> theater. And, like, you know, nobody thinks. it's just laughing because it's funny. It, it is funny. funny but, you of know, course. Only <laughs> us, 65 years later, going to delve into Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Technically, this is incorrect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, you can imagine it's like. Could you put something on there? Yeah, yeah, really. Something. You know, maybe. I wish they they had it today. What that thing must be worth. In Brooklyn? Brooklyn's re-gentrified. Like almost a whole. I mean, obviously there's some bad spots, but the re-gentrification going on in Brooklyn right now. The Cramden's grandkids? Uh, Oh, man. Oh, my God. They'd be living in the lap of luxury. luxury. (laughs) (laughs) And the furniture. Can you imagine? The furniture. That furniture furniture would look like in their Park Avenue apartment. Park Avenue Avenue apartment. It'd be beautiful. Uh, (laughs) Going out in the summertime with their motorboat with three propellers. <laughs> <laughs> the Kremlin the kids would be living it up. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, maybe he could have got a, a, a bathtub so yeah. he wouldn't have to go to Friends Gas Station yeah, to we'll take go, a we'll, bath. Maybe, well, they don't have kids. So, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listen, right, Alice's nieces and nephews. Yeah, I'm open it up. That's true. But well, what a funny. It's just whatever it, happens. Yeah, whatever happens. It's like. <laughs> I mean, that's a big thing there. Yeah, this you're talking you know, real estate. Yeah, this isn't he bought a a, a transistor radio yeah. and what happened to yeah. it. So this, even in the Lost episodes, there's like two instances where they buy something. One is the hot dog stand in Jersey. Hot dog stand in Jersey. And the other one where they buy that hotel. They were going to buy a that building and it's like this dilapidated building. And they right, were going to turn it into it. Yeah, they were going to do it. They were going to flip flip, uh, flip a hotel. Flip, flip a hotel, yeah. yeah. They were flipping they back were flipping before back anybody then. else. Yeah, before the HGTV. Yeah, before the HGTV. For <laughs> <laughs> 3D TV. But <laughs> you think about that. What happened to those things, too? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this, this hot dog stand goes south. Hey, Ralphie, building. I was looking for a house. I was looking for something with a little character. <laughs> Open concept. <laughs> so, so, they got stuck with a lot of real estate in their life. Yeah. Oh. I know, for guys that had nothing. God, yeah. You know? But it was funny, man. Yeah, just it's a, funny. Just it's the parking lot. It's the parking lot. It's funny. <laughs> we think it's Brooklyn. We're going to say it's Brooklyn. <laughs> All right, Ugh. we we are going to go into our next little segment, and let me see how long it takes me to find this one. But I know yeah. where this one is. Oh, good. And this is re- this is a relatively new one. I don't want to have to entertain the people. Yeah, doing I know. my oh, Mr. Marshall imitation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cramden, you're not- <laughs> Cramden, you're. <laughs> Go get that park. Go get the deed to that Wait, parking, parking lot. lot. Bring it over here. I'll put some buses in that lot. Use <laughs> it for a parking. <laughs> oh, all the buses with bad uh, transmissions. Yeah, put them in that one, parking one, lot. The one you dented the other day. <laughs> all right. Well, this is this is uh, this is a relatively new bit, and I love it. Oh, and uh, this is uh, here we go. Hear ye, verily, hear ye. The Honeymooners Podcast now presents Ad Lib or Not an Ad Lib. That is the question. All right. Ad Lib or Not to Ad Lib. Great intro. That is a great question. Oh, great intro. We're actually we're going to tweak it a little bit. We have a yeah. better Swanee River. Yeah, we're going to put a different Swanee River. A little, little more regal Swanee yeah, River. Yeah, a little more like a little more old English, like troubadourish. ish yeah. <laughs> yeah, which will go great yeah, we'll with go my friend with Dave Ingram. Dave's, <laughs> Dave's <laughs> intro is great. Oh, my A great intro. I mean, Dave, we have Joe Fernandez. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Joey does one, right? Joey Joe Image does, does one. one. Yep, absolutely. We have a, a, a comedian, an ex-wrestler. Sure. And a um, heavy metal singer that do intros Denmark. for us from <laughs> Denmark. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. <laughs> the, 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 the friends that I have. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one is ad lib or ought not to ad lib. And uh, let's see. And it is from. Uh, please re- uh, please uh, leave, leave, the, leave premises. the premises, which was. An episode that I was not a fan of back before I st- I became a deaf when I was like a DefCon two yeah I wasn't a fan of but when I became a DefCon three I really took to the episode okay, I'm kind of like where you are but I really didn't go more towards liking it when I started out I didn't like it right I got a little you know a little bit better with it but right. it's not up there with mine. It's just not no, no, it's yeah. it's it's not in like my top five or yeah. anything. Oh no, it will never be in anybody's top five. <laughs> if that's in your top five, stop listening, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is the part where um, now Norton is down there and they're hiding out, obviously. Yeah. And they say to uh, Alice, "Hey, make us something. Yeah, make us something." And uh, this is what transpires. Where are you going, Norton? Your first sergeant is going over the hill. <laughs> you not going nowhere. Hey, stop. They haven't made a decent meal with me there. If you're hungry, there's nothing to worry about. Alice will fix us something to eat. Fix us something to eat. Sure, fix something I'll fix you some supper. Get those chairs now. I'll fix it right away, As soon as we Ralph. eat, we'll fix it. Much better. Yep. You'll feel very good after something to eat. You've got fingers in your gloves. Fix the silver. How'd you like some fingers in your nose? <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, we're trying to figure out if that is an ad lib. Yes. The fingers in, in your nose. nose. Now, I was thinking that maybe 
uh, Audrey Meadows mm-hmm. ad lib the um, the thing with the fingers, with the fingers, because he's wearing mittens, not mittens. He's wearing gloves. He's wearing gloves where he can grab yeah. stuff. Yeah. I think she's wearing like she mittens. may have mittens on him. So she says, "Use uh, you got fingers. fingers. Fix the silverware. Fix the silverware." Which. Okay. Like like you yeah. said, Louis said, he goes, she wasn't being... Like, like really confrontational with no, him? No, no, not know, at all. For him to like go off on her like that? Right. But it's just a perfect... Oh, my God, the, the audience reaction is crazy. They go nuts. It's, to me, it seems like it would be an ad lib. Yeah. But the more you think about it, it might be perfect because she says you have fingers... fingers. You yeah. know, fix the uh, yeah. and how would you like to fingers in your, in your, your nose. nose? I so that's our question. And the way she turns, the way she turns, yeah, the way yeah. she turns and looks, she gives that you know yeah, like, that, like yeah that, yeah like yeah that look just like, gave him that that look that look yeah. So we're we're stumped on it. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I, don't know. I would I me per, I'm gonna go towards ad lib on go the ad lib meter. Yeah, I'm going on t- towards the right <laughs> ad lib. So what do you, uh, let's see. If you have um, it's zero through ten, ten yes, what do you want? A seven? Probably about a seven. Seven. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably at around. I'll go five and a half. Oh, okay. I'm leaning well, so you're a little, leaning just a lip, little bit. Just, you're not. Yeah. It seems too perfect. Yeah, it is. Oh, to be, God, it to is. be an ad lib. Yeah. Because <laughs> he does pause after she says that. There is a pause. There is. Yeah. So you know, maybe he's thinking of something, or maybe I don't. We, see, you don't know with him. Yeah, he could that's have, the thing. There could have been another line in there that he substituted his and own line. We don't know it. Yeah, we, don't, we just don't that know. That is true. Like, maybe there was some sort of joke, joke there. Yeah. But maybe he just decided at that moment, had you like some fingers, fingers in, in your, your nose. nose? Like, it's just, you know, <laughs> it's a, the audience reaction to it. It's like, it's probably the biggest laugh. I would say in that episode. In that episode. I think so. And that's you know? just, and if it's ad lib, he got the biggest laugh out of that. Like, even the Witcher call, we when we went back to the first ad lib, we started doing this with um, hey, you loud mouth, you woke up my wife. Right, gets a tremendous, tremendous laugh. laugh. So we hope. I don't know if that was ad. We don't know yet. We're, yeah, we're people, we're, people we're not, are we're fifty fifty on it. Yeah, and yeah. um, but there here it is. That's the if it's an ad lib, and he's getting that tremendous audience response. Right. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we say, hey, listen, uh, after the episode comes out, I'll put the picture up with him doing that yeah i'll put uh fingers in your nose nose, and then i'll say ad lib or not and and then we can have some people on facebook yes Yes. what they think please yeah so i'll i'll make sure i'll put that up yeah uh maybe a day after it comes out Mm -hmm. and then uh we'll we'll let some of our regulars and some of the uh facebook friends yeah you know chime in chime in we want to hear what you mean absolutely yeah you know we're not uh nothing we say is etched in stone no not here (laughs) maybe somewhere else somewhere else not here (laughs) (laughs) so we're kind of in the ad lib yeah we're we're, uh, we're we're, kind of middle here we're kind of middle right i'm a little bit more to the right joe's kind of more middle Uh, here like yeah uh, yeah. almost almost so but now wait a minute we're not going anywhere yet don't don't, (laughs) don't turn that dial don't turn that (laughs) dial yet we have we are not done with this clip (laughs) because go ahead joe we'll do it we'll here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the Honeymooners Podcast presents... It's not in the top hand, but man, God! <laughs> the Flub of the Week. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, set yeah. Whoa, ho, set ho, what a surprise. Eyes. Yeah, well, we're not going anywhere from this clip yet. Because <laughs> as we're getting this clip... We're realizing, we're like, wait a minute. Not only is there an ad lib or not ad lib, but we just found a new flub. Flub in <laughs> We're like, did he just say what I, yeah, what yeah, I thought he, he just, said? He just and he, and he flubbed did. it. Because then Joe wrote it back like three times just to make sure. He did. He did. So uh, see if yeah. you pick it up. So we uh, we squeezed this flub in like, uh, like uh, what's his name, too? King Farouk yeah, in and, a and Gary, Gary Cooper's, Cooper's uh, bathing, bathing suit. suit. Yeah. Like two pounds of bologna and a one pound one bag. Pound bag. <laughs> yes. So we'll play it again. Listen for the flub. Love. Not that. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't mind hearing that again. Yeah, yeah. We haven't heard Swanee River in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Where are you going, Norton? Your first sergeant is going over the hill. Going over the hill. Going nowhere. Going nowhere. Going nowhere. I am not a decent meal with me. <laughs> <laughs> Three, there's nothing to worry about. Alice will fix us something to eat. 
Fix us something to eat. Sure, I'll fix you some supper. Get those chairs down. I'll fix it right away, As soon as Ralph. we eat, we'll fix much better. Yep. You'll feel very good after something to eat. You've got fingers in your gloves. Fix the silver. How'd you like some fingers in your nose? <laughs> So, did you catch it? And you should have caught it. Yeah. It's, she goes, oh, sure, I'll fix dinner. Yeah. And he says, oh, yeah, she'll, uh, she'll, she'll fix dinner and we'll, f- we'll fix, t- we'll, uh, I'll play it again. I'll just play it right play it again. Just something to eat. Sure, I'll fix you some supper. Get those chairs down. I'll fix it right away, As soon as Ralph. we eat, we'll fix much better. As we'll soon as we eat, we'll, we'll fix, fix much, much better. <laughs> Now, now we just heard this. We just heard this. while Joe was running this the the uh, bit here. Yeah, we heard it, and we're like, "Did he just say <laughs> we'll fix much better?" <laughs> right, and he did. He did absolutely. <laughs> now I'm wondering is is that that's like one of those, you know how we say sometimes they, uh, actors will get ahead of themselves. Yes, and they're thinking of the next thing, and mm-hmm. they spooner is it kind yeah. of you know they they put the things together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think this is backwards. Yes, because he. he she just said this. fix. This. Yep. And he's, instead of saying feel, feel he said fix. We'll fix much better. We'll fix much better. <laughs> now, I just thought of this. They need food, right? Right. Now, if I'm them, I'm going to Mrs. Monacotti for food. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask her, Mrs. Monacotti, do you have anything? Have any yeah. eggplant parmesan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got any chicken cacciatore? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. A fac- something. Fachamara. F- fachamara. That's that's a, maybe he says that thing. in the lost episode. Yeah, yeah. Fachamara. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tomato fachamara. <laughs> <laughs> but what, this is a great little find. Oh, it's a, cr- a oh, great little flub. And we <laughs> shoot things out of that. Yeah, absolutely. Just <laughs> didn't even hear it. Better, because we don't have um, to go hunting for <laughs> Yeah, because we're like, we're at a point now, we're not looking for flubs anymore. We feel... No, we... Oh, God, we... we yeah. You know, we feel that we've uncovered yeah, almost yeah, every we go flub. we exhausted them, you know. But <laughs> yeah. to find a... Although fresh, we are going to do a... Oh, we're going to do we get the flub vault. We flub do vault. Have that we're going to be doing that for But sure. something like this, we just found it. Yeah. Just, I mean, I never, ever even heard this. You know? No. And, and now... It's great. You're to not going to be... One. They say this, they do this on YouTube a lot. You're not going to be able to unsee it. Now you're yeah, not going to be able, able to unhear, unhear it, it. and yep. I'll play it one more yep. time. Something to eat. Sure, I'll fix you some supper. Get those chairs down. I'll fix it right away, As soon as we eat, we'll fix much better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, you know, you say, that, Joe, you just said that. You're not going to be able to unhear it. It's yeah. going to be like the uh, Mr. Johnson snort. Yes. You, you're... You're not going to be able to hear and it's gonna it. It's going to come over so loud so and loudly. clear. Yeah, yeah you know? absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the Johnson <laughs> snort. It's like because well, the- <laughs> now some of these things now they become part of the episode. Yep, where they weren't even part of the episode. Exactly. Like the Mister Mister Douglas. Like Mister oh, Douglas. Oh, now God, it's yeah. it's one of the biggest parts of the episode. Oh God! <laughs> I, wait <laughs> I wait for it. I wait for it. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you're welcome for the new flub, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you are welcome for that. <laughs> and if <laughs> um, I have it right here, and we're getting towards the end, and you know what that means, kids? That means... Oh. <laughs> Now, Tom, who is our first guest, please? <laughs> our first guest ready to leap the first hurdle on his way to the $99,000 answer is our courier from Parsippany, New Jersey, Joe Conti. There we go. There we go. <laughs> herb. herb. <laughs> I, love, I love the herb. Oh, we could just send it with herb. <laughs> Dude, you think about it. I, we, I have my, my, my dog, which is Gleason. Gleason. He's a corgi. Yeah, and your cat. And we have a cat. Named Herb. Herbie, and I call him Herb. Herb, and I do the Herb, Herb. all the time. Herb, you got to. I have to. You got to. <laughs> you know, speaking about you know, like what we say, like it's part of our vernacular now. Even right. when we don't, even when you're trying not to, it just comes out. It comes out, yeah. And I, over the weekend, whatever happened, I just said, "What is that?" <laughs> and like, "What is that?" And and I thought, right, <laughs> like, I just did. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Like he says it twice. He says Harvey Jr. With Harvey and, Jr. and the tuna fish. 
and the tuna fish. Right. What's what's that? What's that? And, and what, what is, is that? that? Yes. Yeah. What is that? Is Harvey? What is that? Is Harvey? And, and what's, what's that? Is tuna fish. Tuna so I, I said that this weekend. <laughs> what is that? And I didn't realize until after I said it that yeah, I said that it. You said, said it. it. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, what do you got God. for me? I today? got the names the same here, Joe. Let's try that. Like I same? said, we're running out, or we can. You know, the one and duns are um, kind of running out on the multiples in the in the episode. So we're down to like singles. Okay. So I mean, tell me what you want. You can. We could do a, uh, names the same, or you could do a one and done. Uh, let's try the names the same. Okay, we'll go names the same. We may have done this already, but we'll do it again because, of course, <laughs> I didn't mark it off. <laughs> 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 Before this piece of paper disintegrates, <laughs> Joe, we got to take a picture. So you got to put us on. You got to put this on the on the. I will on the, on the, definitely it's, do it's it. It's amazing. It's ridiculous. It is. <laughs> to me, it's almost like looking at the list on the wall. Yeah, it, this, it's, it, yeah. to me, it's iconic. Yeah, this, this, this sheet of paper. <laughs> Actually, the part that's disintegrating goes right through the answer. <laughs> so, okay, Charlie. Um, there's Charlie raises dogs. Mm-hmm. How many we have? Three. There are you name three one. different Charlies. Yeah, you got you just name one. Uh, Charlie. Oh, isn't Charlie the uh, also the cameraman? Yes, the photographer. Yes. I'm Take taking it, pictures taking of queens, pictures, and, queens and, and all that. And Never seen him this yeah, one. And I'm not right. taking a picture of Ralph Brandon. <laughs> and I, the only thing I could think is I'm hearing Freddie Muller saying the word Charlie. And I can't. Okay, oh, you're, you're on it. It's Freddie Muller's at, at the car. Can I borrow the car from Char? No, no, you were right. uh, you were just on it. I thought you were going to get it. Yeah, oh, it's. I'll put you th- Freddie Muller's there, right? And Freddie Muller says Charlie. I, I yes. can hear Freddie Muller yes. saying Charlie. Uh, yes. Uh, I, Char. I, I, when you say it, I'm, it's just gonna it's gonna bug me. Go ahead. That bowling tournament. Tell him, Charlie. Tell him. That's right. <laughs> Frank Marth. Frank Marth is playing Charlie, Charlie for some, some reason. reason. <laughs> I guess they couldn't get uh, Eddie Hanley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. That's, that well, was you did good. good. You did good. I, I did okay. I think we, I better mark that off so we don't use it for a fourth time. <laughs> maybe All you'll right. get it the, <laughs> now, the fifth try. Louis is always doing little trivia things for me. Yeah. So I decided I'm going to do one. Uh, it's something I made up. It's it's silly, but it's quick. Um, and I'm probably going to get an intro for it. It's going to be uh, what's that sound? What's that sound? And basically, so profound. It's going to be what's that sound? It's so profound. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a song. And it's easy. <laughs> it's going to be easy, but it'll be fun. Yeah. And this one, and they're all Ralph. All Ralph. All Ralph. And here is the first one. I got. I'm gonna. I, somebody's got to help me. Wake. Uh, I, I. We got to think of a good name for this yeah. because it's going to be a sound, mm-hmm. but it's just going to be Ralph yeah. sound. So if anybody wants to help, send us a message, Facebook, yeah, Facebook or whatever. email me, yeah. Facebook, whatever. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> okay. okay, that's feeding time at the zoo. There you go. Feeding. Now, but there's two like that. He makes that noise twice. That's he gets, why. He, once he gets punched in the stomach. But yes. Cover the face. Cover the face. Right. And that's what makes it a little yeah. difficult. But you nailed it. That was that was definitely perfectly. because that one's real loud. Yes. You nailed it yeah. perfectly. This that. is Uncle Leo. Uncle Leo. <laughs> oh, my aching back. back. Wax him. He leaves. She goes in the bedroom, bedroom. And he's holding it. And then uh, yeah, goes then, crazy. Then he goes nuts. And it's yeah. feeding, feeding time at the zoo. Okay. <laughs> 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 very good. Very, very good. All right. Well, listen. Um, that pretty much, wow. You, I, I'm i sitting there going, we're going to end up with a short show today. That's what I thought. Yeah, I thought so, too. We started. 38 minutes. Wow, because we didn't really, remember I asked you, Joe, I said, Joe, what's the meat of the show? Usually, we, like last week, we did the, um, you know on stage and we covered it. But today, we did. We just did like five bits. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> five, five Swanee Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen. So let's. Uh, 
Who do, who do we thank? We have a lot of people we got to thank. First of all, we got to thank Jeff Kingfish Slavinsky, yeah. who is the owner of Silk City Hot Sauce. Everybody, go to SilkCityHotSauce.com. Get yourself some great homemade hot sauce. Can't hurt you, pal. No. And then you put RX in the coupon code. Get yourself 15% off your order and a free bottle of cherry sriracha. Uh, thank all you guys who listen. Oh, we yeah. totally appreciate yep. it. All you guys, man. Uh, all you guys who email us. Who comment on Facebook and some of you special pals, you know who you are, like yeah. uh, the the great brother Bibbs, yeah. and, uh, and you guys. Who else can we thank? The great Facebook group, the yeah. Honeymooners Raccoon Lodge on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's why it's called the Facebook group nope. <laughs> with uh, Joy and brother Norton, who are the mo- uh, the hall monitors, the administrators yeah, yep. for that. Uh, they don't put up with any nonsense no, there. None it's at great, all. good, clean fun, good, clean fun all exactly. the time. It's great. Um, and don't forget, check out my one hour, if you want to get my one hour comedy CD called Happiness. You can download it anywhere. You get music or comedy like iTunes or Amazon, wherever. You can either purchase it or you could probably find it streaming somewhere. But it's called Happiness by Joe Conti. And if you want to support me, that's great. If you want, yeah. just listen to it and let me know what you think. Mm-hmm. So that's it, everybody. Episode 69 in the books. For me, Joe Conti, and my pal, Louis Fats, we say we'll see you next time. One more thing, Joe. Yeah. It's our two-year two anniversary. That's right. I to mention that. That's right. Two years. Two years. Yeah. So June like, 20th. Yeah. June 20th, 2019. Yeah. Wow. Two years we're doing this. All you nuts out there who've been following us <laughs> for two years. <laughs> you are a mental case. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Something yeah. that you never heard You're, in the never original never 39. Heard nine, but... but. But anyway. said in the lost episode. So well, the other congratulations. Let, we, we, we'll get to do something next week yeah, then. Yeah. All right. For sure. Uh, okay. That's, I want to bring it up today in case we miss next week. Okay. You know, sometimes we do miss a week here. Yeah. And All right. It. Yeah. So we'll sign off with Eporibus Raccoonum. Got anything else? Happy anniversary. There you go. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Night all. <laughs>Bye, Mr. Crandon. I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you, Irving Kane, Irving Kale, and Sammy Fain, 1938. <laughs> oh, Mr. Crandon, it's all over now. It's all over now. Bassy Simon, 1927. <laughs> no, no. Good night, Mr. Crandon. Good, good night, night. Good night. There were two songs. Good night. It was Good Night, Irene, written by Lomax and Ledbetter. Good Night, Sweetheart, written by Rudy Valley and Ray Noble. <laughs> This has been a non-productive media presentation. Executive producer, Frank Hablawi. This program and many others like it on the Non-Productive Network is distributed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license. Please share it, but ask before trying to change it or sell it. For more information, visit non-productive.com.